Welcome back, one and all, to Finite Plays Stardew Valley 1.6. On the last episode, we fixed two-thirds of a boat and found some ink in a sewer. And we also collected some very thick sludge that I think you can legally, if not immorally, call void mayo. And on this episode, we're going to pray to Yoba above that by beating our axe against some wood, we learn something. But it's also Shane's birthday, so I'm going to give him the tea. I am, in fact, going to give him the tea and then hopefully catapult our relationship to the next level because we're not friends with him literally at all in any way, shape, or form. So hopefully... Don't eat the common mushroom. No. Give me the morels. And then we'll say hello to all of our animals. Our very paranoid animals, but again, maybe they know something. I feel like my animals know more than I'm giving them credit for. Uh, truffles. Truffle, truffle, truffle chameleon. Give me that. One more truffle. Fantastic. Milk and wool. Spring has the best music. I think I like the spring theme of Stardew Valley more than any other ones. It's just, it's just really upbeat and I enjoy it a lot. Hopefully we get a, a dinosaur egg soon. One of these days I would really like to get a dinosaur egg because I need it for the mayo. Oh, well, would you look at that? The exact thing that I need. Flawless. Um, so we need three... Actually, we have enough literally right in there. Flawless. Okay, cool. So we can turn that into a mayo for the missing bundle. And then we can drop off the rest of the eggs and have a full set. And by a full set, I mean all of our machines are processing. And that's good. Very good. Uh, ancient fruit, right. Uh, let's, let's wait for them to be relatively on cycle. I'll wait for tomorrow to pick them. And that'll be fine. Are any of the hardwood trees ready? No, they are not. All right, let's go to the secret woods and get some more hardwood. I cleared out all the stumps, didn't I? I did. I took care of that already. That is an unfortunate side effect of my power. And there, also in the last episode, the raccoons had a fourth child and they gave us more raccoon powder. Uh, Penny is never going to believe that I don't actually get drugs from the raccoons at this rate. It's just like, I, if I go boasting around the town that the raccoons have given me magic fairy dust, it'll cement my reputation in Penny's eyes. Oh, I'll never... I can't talk about it, I guess. Man, that's sad. But, like, I want everyone to know about how good the raccoons have it. It's like it, another two dwarf scrolls. Two red dwarf scrolls from the same slimes. Maybe they're trying to get into, like, higher education. Maybe I'm doing some terrible things to these slimes. It's just like, no! Billy! Jenny! They wanted to go and learn another language. Oh, they tried so hard, and then the stupid mummy-clad farmer came in and annihilated them. They were just trying to learn another language. And you killed them! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We'll probably go up to the train station and chop down all of those trees. Because the more wood we get our hands on, the better. And then we'll also get some experience as well. I need to get rid of those slimes. Or I need to get... I need to remove those slimes from my conscious... Consciousness. Conscience. They've been removed. I don't know what I was talking about. Let's go find Shane. He's probably still in the house. If I had to take a guess. He is. Birthday boy. Birthday boy. It is your birthday, right? It wasn't your birthday. God, do I want to make absolutely certain? Because imagine if I messed up the time. I'm paranoid. I'm going to go check just to make certain. Just to make certain. Because if I... Because I'm not good with time. If I miss his birthday by a day, I'll be like, Oh, that's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Anyway, let's not take care of that. Or let's, let's, let's take care of that. Let's not not take care of it. Anyway, is there any request? Because Pierre wants the thing. Uh, not that. Um, sardine? No. Okay, it is his birthday. It is his birthday. It is his birthday. Let's, 
do things closer together. Let's drop off the Prismatic Shard and the Void Salmon so I don't forget and be like, what happened to my Prismatic Shard? And be like, well, you know, stuff happened. Life. Let's drop uh, this off and then the gold thing. And then we can get the Dinosaur Mayo tomorrow or well, later today even. And then at that point, we just need the Ancient Fruit. So hopefully the next few crops of ancient fruit within the next week or two are gold. And that would be lovely. How much friendship do we actually have with Shane? Zero. We have zero hearts of friendship with Shane. Absolutely zilch, not a zip, not a thing. Massive duck egg. It's a big fat zero. No friendship whatsoever. But if we give him birthday star drop tea, I'd be very curious to see. How much we get? Shane, birthday boy. Tea? <gasps> Is it my birthday? That's right, I almost forgot. Thanks. You're very welcome, Shane. Why are you bothering me? I want to be alone. How much friendship do we get with that? Shane is now at three hearts. All right, that's not terrible. Three hearts from zero? That's not that bad. That's honestly not that bad. I will take that. I will take that. Uh, Where are you guys going? Can I, Sebi, you know, I should be doing something productive right now. I just lose focus too fast. Oh, I can, I can, I can sympathize with that. And I can also stutter over the fact. Maybe I should drink more coffee. I can sympathize with that too. Man, Sebi is my spirit animal. There's nothing in the trash. All right, let's go up to the woods because I really want foraging level 10. Like, I really, really just wanted to get that knocked out so I don't have to worry about it anymore. So let's go up to the train station, cut a bunch of trees, and then... See where that leads? I don't know where that's going to lead us. I don't rightly know. No, I do not. But it'll be fine. Hopefully, because there's a lot of trees up there. Let's just hope that however many trees we cut down will be enough. Because we're just shy of the hardwood. And I don't think we have a perk that allows us to get hardwood from trees. Anyway, we need to cut them down anyway, so I am going to cut them down. So give me a minute, and I will cut down as many trees as it takes to get to level 10 foraging. So let's just speed through this and hope it happens quickly. It didn't happen at all. All of those trees, all of those trees, nearly a thousand wood and not a single level up from that. We're still at level nine. Oh my God. Why? Why? Why, man? Why? That's insane. All right, fine. Do we chop down more trees? Maybe? It's like, uh, how, how much more? How many more trees do I have to deforest? Universe, why? Why are you doing this to me? What about these trees? Can I chop these ones down? Because I know these will grow, grow back, grow back on their own. Can I chop these down and get all of them? Please give me a level up. I beg of thee. I beg of thee, please. Oh, I destroyed that butterfly's home. Well, that's on me. All right, fine. Fine. Still no level up. That's insane. That's, that, 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 that. that I don't know what. Uh, uh, uh. That's crazy. Well, we have our dinosaur mayo. We'll take that to the missing bundle once we have the ancient fruit that we need. And then we'll be fine, I guess. Oh, Haley's in the baby room. Or, well, the kid's room? Technically, right now, it's a storage room, but it has a crib in it. You look like you did a lot of work today. I cut down a lot of trees for no benefit. Well, I suppose I did get wood. Now you should just relax and kick back for the night. Oh, there's no such thing as relaxation for me. Oh, I love you so much for thinking that that was possible for me, but it's not. Oh, there's no way that'll ever happen. None. 
whatsoever. Uh, we did get some mystery boxes, so that's fine, I guess. It's not helpful in any way, shape, or form, but it happened, kind of. Uh, this and that can go in there for right now. Um, mm, 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 uh, forage, right. Put the forage away. We do got some scrolls. What those scrolls be doing, bro? Those scrolls, you've got some scroll gain. Your scrolls are looking extra thick. Your parchment is glossy as all heck today, bro. I don't know where that came from. That was weird. Sometimes I I, I, I shock even myself. Anyway, is there anything in the greenhouse? Nothing is in the greenhouse. Man, I feel like I I feel like the 20th. I feel like today, the 20th, was entirely wasted. I feel like nothing happened today. What do I want from Robin? Because I have 25,000. Maybe I want a tool upgrade. Oh, look at all these truffles. I need to make more, I need to make more truffles, truffle machines. I'm going to do that later though, because right now I need every bit of hardwood that I can get my hands on. Don't eat the truffle. Put it away. Why must everything be about eating the truffles, Colin? You're a crazy individual. You're insane. A madman even. What's around? What can I do? It's only nine o'clock. Um... I can't fish for the legend because it's not raining anymore. Haley just wants us to sit back and relax, which isn't possible. Um, those will be done tomorrow, I think. Uh, I really want... Maybe we just go around Cindersnap and just chop more wood. Because what do I want? I want... Uh, I, can't, I can't even go for um, a stable. I can't get a stable from Robin until the boat is done. I need so much hardwood. Hopefully when these trees are done, hopefully tomorrow some of these trees will be ready to go. Hopefully. What is our fruit bat cave looking like? Oh, once we get level 10, I'll be able to get all of those to be iridium and it'll be so good. It'll be so good. But for right now, I don't have that power. No, I don't. All right. Let's just um, chop down some trees. Uh, Yeah. Let's just chop down a few trees. Because I need to m remove them anyway. Yeah, I'll just get rid of a few of them. Just a few of them. Until my energy is, like, particularly low. I'm starting to feel exhausted. Well, you know what would fix that? A level up overnight? Apparently, it's not happening. It's not going to happen. It's never going to happen. I'm never going to get that benefit. No, I am not. It'll never happen. It'll happen eventually. This is a very thin tree. Anyway, what are we going to use the wood for? How much coal do I have? Good night, dear. Good night. I'll be I'll be in bed in like a minute. Don't worry. I'll 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 just put some stuff to forge and we'll be good. And then I'll be in bed. Oh, hello Jonathan. How are you doing? Should I make I should have like Jonathan be surrounded by cactus brethren cuz I'm sure he'd appreciate that. Uh let's do some more quartz. Let's do the fire quartz this time. Smelt, 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 smelt. Everything is smelting. Fantastic. So that'll get us a bit of refined quartz, and that'll be good for the future. Cool. Let's go to bed and see what tomorrow brings. It's a Sunday, so maybe we'll get to level 10. At this point, it's literally, when are we going to get to level 10 foraging? Going to bed. Missed out on a few hours, but we don't have the energy for anything else. The bookseller's in town today. Well, hunky doodle dandy. Fantastic. Maybe we'll use this $25,000 to buy some stuff. I got up early to water some crops and they were already done. They're always already done. You never have to worry about that, Haley. I love you for the thought. I really, really do. Because I know you're not the biggest farm hands-on person. And I love that about you. It's not necessary, though. I found this recipe in a magazine and I thought it sounded interesting. Feel free to give me a taste if you make it. Shane. Pepper poppers. If you want pepper poppers, I will give you some. <gasps> Speaking of the cactus, greetings from Calico Desert. Come visit me soon. I'm really bored out here. Oh, I'll have to visit Sandy. I've included a gift from the desert. You can come and thank me in person. Oh, nice. A cactus fruit. And more mail. Pierre here. I really, 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 really want to play to sashimi. I'll pay a lot of money to whoever gets me sashimi. I bet Pierre literally just mailed that notice out to everyone who signed on to the Pierre subscription plan. And be like, yo, if anyone wants to give me sashimi, I'll be like, I'll pay. I'll pay for that sashimi. Anyone want to give me sashimi? Pierre is desperate. He's a 
desperate, desperate man. <gasps> the apricot tree has grown. Oh, these trees are growing. Oh, that's lovely. That's so good to know. That is wonderful. Wonderful. Oh, and you want something? What do you want? <gasps> mega bombs. I don't know if I have mega bombs anymore. I might have a few. And if I do, I'll definitely give them to you, but maybe not immediately. Uh, right. This, 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 and truffle, truffle. Truffle galore, truffle galore. Gonna give truffles to adore. You could adore the truffles. Oh, I'm a genius rhyme smith. Oh, the truffle. Uh, extra truffle. Uh, yeah, I'll have some truffle, but with extra truffle on the side, please. It's like, you want truffle squared? You come to this restaurant knowing the secret code for extra truffles? And you're like, yes, I'm a very frequent flyer of the truffle club. It's like, oh my god, sir, I didn't realize you were a VIP. Please, have the chocolate drubble, drubbled? Chocolate drizzled truffle. Sorry, sir, I, I didn't I didn't realize you were one of the special ones. Because if, if I had realized, I, I would have prepared myself mentally for this conversation. But normally, my patrons are not such. Anyway, the strawberries are ready. Sometimes I just astral project my soul to different scenarios in life and that one you just heard was me astral projecting to a high-end restaurant that sold exclusively truffle based recipes and I don't know where that came from to be fair I don't know why I say a lot of the things that I do it's just a quirk of me as a person sometimes I just spout nonsense and that's really strange. But I appreciate you all from the bottom of my heart for putting up with it anyway. Drop a like if you appreciate random, literal nonsense commentary. Because Lord knows, I genuinely don't think I could stop if I tried. Anyway, there's at least one hardwood tree. Is this enough to get me to level 10? Please say it is. It's not. Uh, 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 it'll never happen, will it? I'm so sad. It's a Sunday, so let's go to the traveling saleswoman. Maybe she'll have a foraging level up. Or something equally interesting. Who knows? Not me. Never me. I live in ignorance. My whole existence can be defined by an extreme amount of ignorance. What do you have? A rabbit's foot and red cabbage. You don't have anything else, though. And isn't that sad? Please just give me the level up. Please. I ask for very little. I ask for so little, but please, right here and now, just give me level 10 foraging. Please. Please, I'll do anything. I'll do anything, Yoba. You got some new ideas to sleep on! Oh my god, Yoba, you just need to come into me in a vision. A vision. All you, Yoba, my friend, my lord, my savior, my foraging master, all you need to do is come to me in a vision. And if you give me a divine sign, I will work my ass off to get it done. Oh my god, we finally did it. Level 10 foraging. While we're in Cindersnap, I want to see if we can open that door right now. Or if we need to wait until we actually get the level up. Because that's great. Oh, we have... I think with all of the stumps, tomorrow we'll be able to repair the boat. I think we'll be able to repair the boat tomorrow. Oh god... Depending on whether or not we can open this door. Because Ginger Island is something that I'm going to be like, yo, this is something that's going to take a while to do. And if there's a lot of stuff behind this door, I want to know about it. Because, like, look at this. Oh, mastery. Wait, what? Mastery? 139 out of 10,000? What? What does that mean? If I chop down 139, if I chop down another tree, will that can I like can I like prestige my skills? Um where the experience? 152? What does that mean? 10,000. That's a lot of trees to chop down. Oh, good lord, that's a lot of trees. What? I can go inside. Oh. My dear Colin Derwall, if you're reading this note, you found the secret room I've prepared for you. Within these walls are tips, 
recipes, and even some of my most cherished tools, all the very best from the many happy years I spent in the valley. By coming this far, you'll have proven that you possess the skills and wisdom to make good use of these powerful secrets. I hope my discoveries help you in your journey to making Honeydew Farm a shining star of the whole world. Make me proud, Grandpa. Whoa. What is this? The final path. 165 out of 10,000. Combat Mastery. Anvil. Allows you to reforge trinkets, randomizing their stats? Costs 3 Iridium Bars per use. Oh, there are some weapons that we have found over the course of our adventure that have had, like, extra crit chance, like a little star. I wonder if that mini forge, you can now use a dwarvish forge from the convenience of your home? You don't have to go to the top of the island to do it? Unlocks a new equipment slot for trinkets? Trinkets can be found while adventuring and grant special powers. Wait. Y you can get... Okay, so an anvil allows you to randomize, like, a, a secondary enchantment. The mini forge allows you to do the things from the island forge. Unlocks a new claim? Can I not claim? I can't. I don't have combat mastery. Do I need to get, like, 10,000 points of combat? Foraging mastery. Mystic tree seeds. You get them from here. This can be planted to grow a special tree. Treasure totem. That's the totem from the little teaser from before 1.6 was released. Use on diggable terrain to summon a ring of treasure spots. Whoa. That's crazy. You now find golden mystery boxes, which contain superior items. Can't claim that. Golden mystery boxes. Wow. Okay. We'll save the farming for last because I'm curious about what about fishing? Advanced Iridium Rod? Use in the water to catch fish. Up to two bobbers. Wow. So you can get like the rare fish, like the quality bobber as well as a trap bobber. Challenge bait. A perfect catch yields triple the fish. However, each time a fish escapes the fishing bar, the catch is reduced. Interesting. You can now encounter golden fishing chests. That's crazy. So the you get triple the fish on perfect catches. That's insane. What about mining? Statue of the Dwarf King. Choose from two mining-related powers a day. Wow. Okay. Heavy Furnace. It's more efficient than a regular furnace. It requires 25 pieces of ore and 3 coal per use. Gem-bearing rocks now grant twice the gems. That's not as interesting, but I really want that heavy furnace. Oh god, what about farming? Iridium Scythe. Can be used to harvest any crop. It also is excellent at gathering hay. Wait. Can be used to harvest any crop. It's like the auto harvest mod. You just have an iridium scythe and you can harvest the crops. Oh my god, I need that immediately. Touching the statue gives a unique blessing every day. That's crazy. You can now find golden animal crackers, which permanently doubles a farm animal's produce. Doesn't work on pigs. So you can get like double the eggs from chicken. Or, like, double the wool from sheep? Or, that's crazy. Oh, so I bet I need to get 10,000. Because it's not specific. If I go over to the thing, mastery level, it's not specific. I bet if I accumulate 10,000 mastery points, I can invest those 10,000 points in any path I want. Oh. I wonder if I have to do this twice to get the rewards like if i have to get 10,000 for an anvil 10,000 for a mini forge and like 10,000 for an equipment slot oh wow i think i have to go for farming just for that scythe oh that is crazy that's crazy oh that is going to be 
oh, that's going to be a thing. Oh, that's going to be a massive thing. All right. At least that's a more passive thing. So I can like take that and bring it like that overarching goal to Ginger Island. Because if I can just accumulate a bunch of mastery points, like over the course of going to, through trips of Ginger Island. Oh, that is, that is so interesting. That is so intriguing. I have sashimi on me. I can give that to Pierre right away. That is so crazy cool. Oh, that is, that is so cool. Okay, I guess we're doing this now. Why are we just hiding around Pierre's bookshelves. What are you looking for, Colin? Why? What on earth, Colin, what on earth possessed you to come into Pierre's room, rival around through his bookcase, and find his secret stash? What? Because I did not, the voices in your head did not tell you. Is this what you would get off to if I didn't micromanage your every move? Why, Colin? Who's in the bedroom? Um, M me, apparently. Why do I have to handle this situation now? Colin, you got yourself into this. You can get yourself out of this. How did you find that? By being insanely nosy. It was behind the bookshelf and everything. Quick, give it to me. Yeah, Colin, give it back. Good lord, man. Promise me you won't tell anyone about this. Yeah, yeah. I'm not... Your wife deserves to know. I am not going to police Pierre's failing marriage. That is not something I care about at all. I, I'm going to I am going to wipe this from my memory. You know how traumatic experiences can be like when it comes to traumatic experiences, you either forget about them and block them out of your memory completely, or you get PTSD and you dream about it every night for a year and then another year and then another year, and that happens for the rest of your life, and you wake up in a cold sweat remembering what kind of illicit photos Pierre has behind his bookshelf. I am going to repress these memories, and I'm going to forget about them, and I will never, ever, 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 ever bring this up again. Thanks, I appreciate that. Just forget you ever- I am already repressing this. And I'll just forget that you were snooping around in my bedroom. Yep, I'm very glad that we've come to an understanding. Now I have to find a new hiding spot. I don't need to know this! Repressing, repressing, repressing in three, two, one, and repressed. Never have to worry about that again. I am not going to talk to Pierre for a good long while. Thank you for the sashimi. I am now going to leave you alone forever. Let's just go away. Let's go to the bookseller. Let's go to the bookseller and see if they've gotten any new books in year two. Maybe, maybe... Marcello. I was about to call him Michelangelo, but that's not who he is. Maybe he's gotten a new selection of books. Maybe he's gone to the local Barnes and Noble and gotten more things. What do you have to sell? Trade in books. <gasps> sea jelly. Oh god. Don't I have jewels of the sea? No, I have something else. Oh, hardwood. Ha 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 ha. I wish. Mystery boxes, fairy dust. Oh, are you friends with the raccoons too? You 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 accept you have the same trade ins. That's a bit boring. Buy books combat quarterly i don't need these although maybe if i read that book i'll get mastery points now i'd be so curious horse the book the movie i hope they make a book called horse the book of the movie old slither legs okay you don't have anything else although uh i have a book at home i have a book at home i'll read the book just out of curiosity to see if I get mastery points from it because that would be that'd be insanely I'm so curious now I'm so curious now whether or not that'll happen because tomorrow we should get enough hardwood or well we'll go to bed tonight and get the iridium fruit and forage which is great and then tomorrow we'll also probably get enough hardwood so that we can uh, whatchamacallit. We'll get enough hardwood so that we can rebuild the boat. And then we can go to Ginger Island and start taking care of that. Oh, that is going to be so interesting. I feel like... I feel like we get married very shortly after or around the same time we get access to Ginger Island. Because wasn't there a thing, like, I missed our anniversary? Mine and Sophia's anniversary by spending the night at Ginger Island? 
or like the first night after our wedding. I feel like I have vague memories of doing something so stupid, <laughs> like by sleeping at Ginger Island. It's been a minute since I've done something stupid, but I'm sure it'll happen relatively quickly because that's what I do. Anyway, let's go take care of stuff and things. Oh, you're ready now. Okay, so let's get um, some rhubarb in there and take care of that. And then we have all of the refined quartz. Oh, an entire set of 21 bits. That's great. So good. I'm just going to start putting algae in here just so I don't have to take it all the way to the other place. But that is fine. Haley, how you doing? My wonderful wife. Sorry, I, for a second there, the reason I hesitated, I was just like, I called you Emily, didn't I? I'm like, no, I didn't. I called you by the right name. I'm so sorry. I truly am a fool. You married an idiot, but you should know that by now. Uh, the rhubarb. Let's get the rhubarb. Uh, rhubarb, rhubarb, rhubarb. Uh, right. Uh, let's do silver and gold. We'll work on that. Because we have plenty of things. We have enough wood that we should make a few more uh, preserve jars. I think I want to make preserve jars. Yeah, I'm going to go for preserve jars. Because we can make a few of those. Okay, so the rhubarb is processing. That's fantastic. Sunday. Might as well do the queen of sauce while we're here. Greetings, it is I, the Queen of Sauce, and I hope everyone has buckled their pants and stapled their papers. Why did why why did my why did my uh, scriptwriter say staple the anyway? Sorry, uh, the, I hope we can cut that out and post. Anyway, my secret recipe cookbook today is complete breakfast. Last week I taught you how to make hash browns. You take your shredded potatoes and make them into an oblong shape, and then press them down and fry them up. And this week I will show you how to combine those very hash browns with other marvelously hand-picked artisanal ingredients to create a healthy, hearty, wholesome, complete breakfast. This meal will really fill you up and give you the energy you need to get a hard day's work in. Thank you very much. Eggs, milk, hash browns. You're good to go. Throw in an egg in there and you've got the ultimate complete breakfast. Where is it? Salad? Complete breakfast. Fried eggs, hash browns, and pancakes and you are good to go. I can make even make eggplant parm. Wow, eggplant and tomato. Do I have any eggplant and a tomato? You know what? You know what? I made eggplant parm. And I also made an omelet. Because that's how powerful of a person I am. Maybe I should make a dinner for Haley. She made me chowder. I need to make her something good. Maybe I'll make her, I, I, I don't know, something good. Rhubarb wine. Wait, 12,000 for that much? That's pretty good. That is pretty good. How much for 12 normal rhubarb? Because if I had 12 normal rhubarb for 12,000... Wow, only three? Less than 3,000. That's pretty insane. What tools do we have to upgrade? Uh, maybe I want to upgrade... The, oh, the tools. Get everything to gold? Get everything to gold, and then we have... <laughs> then we have to get our hands on like a million iridium except for the iridium scythe 5 10 15 20 25 bars of iridium which we do have we do have enough iridium but that leaves no room for any recipes to make i really hope when we get the heavy furnaces that we can just use the furnaces that we already have as like the other things because i know for like the um like these deluxe worm bins that it requires the normal worm bins to make them. So it's like a direct upgrade. So I really hope it's just a case of another direct upgrade where I could just use the furnaces. I can only hope. Uh, let's start making, I guess, more steel, more iron. That's probably helpful. Let's just do that. Uh, they can stay in the inventory. Uh, Haley, did I give you a sunflower today? I don't know if I did. You definitely have earned one. Because you're incredible, and I love you. They're beautiful. I love you so much. I love you so, so much. You're the best, Haley. I need to get a basement. I do need to get a basement. What does our computer have to say? Um, Machines ready, six. Crops ready, 24. 
Probably the coffee beans. Yeah, definitely the coffee beans. Not gonna worry about them. Um, right. We'll wake up tomorrow, then we'll have the insane upgrade for Iridium stuff. Oh, right. Did you want Mega... You wanted Mega Bombs. Do we have access to Mega Bombs? And something I'd be very curious about is when... Or whether or not those mushroom logs can get mushrooms outside of the farm. I'll have to test that. I do not have any Mega Bombs. You only needed two. Can I just make them? I bet I can just make them. Yeah, a bit shy on gold ore, but that's fine. We'll need to get some more gold ore. I'll definitely want to put them in there. I really hope I don't accidentally set these off. Oh, keep my hand off of the trigger. Um, okay, good. Mega bomb. This really makes us feel at home. I'm glad I've just given my lava eels the ability to explode everything and everywhere. I suppose I might as well get the coffee beans. Probably want to. And then while we're at it, I actually think I will make more preserves jars. We'll have to see. I think... Ooh. Well, uh, let, me, let me go back in the house really quick. And then we'll see how much space we have to work with. Because I'm not going to build a shed... We have 226 coal. I'm not going to build a shed right away. Because I don't think we need one with the space down here. So there's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I'll make one more keg. I'll either make one keg or I'll make nine kegs. It depends on how much um, resin we have. Um, right, let's make the thing first. Okay, how much? We have a lot of wood. That's, that's a first. I can make 15 of these. I'll make nine of these then. Because that's the cheap, I made 10. That's fine. Um, and then the preserves jars. I can make 28 of these. I'll make 11. I've made 13. I am not good with numbers, evidently. Uh, that's fine. Because we still have enough coal to smelt out a bunch of stuff, so I'm fine with that. The rest of the coal can stay aw Not the wood, I need that. The rest of the coal can stay away. Alright, that's fine. Um, ten more things. Uh, that's fine. Yeah. We'll put one there. Uh, we'll put one... What is the best way to do this? This is not exactly good um hmm we'll put yeah we'll do the original plant and put more stuff no wait i can't get to the other ones then uh hold on i can get rid of two there i can put some in there and i can technically do th no can I? No. I'll just put these in the kitchen. I'll put these in the kitchen and make coffee with those five. And then 13. I guess I can put these... Uh, how much space do we have in this area? We'll have to move these once we have... Okay, I guess those are where those are going. And we'll put these here. Sure. That's fine. Okay, we can make coffee now. Okay, I guess that's I guess that's fine. It's not the end of the world. Where's the rhubarb? Rhubarb, rhubarb, rhubarb. Get more of it. And then just jelly up even more rhubarb. Flawless. More rhubarb. We still do have a few more things down there. I think like two. Or like five. One, two, three four five cool so now we just have we have a few more preserve jars that'll get us more and more and more and more money and that'll be fine my love you've already given a Haley gifted today well yes that's fine something tells me she wouldn't really appreciate the rhubarb anyway um do we need the apricots for anything i don't think we need apricots for anything uh i'm just shy of a coconut just shy just shy um who likes apricots? I don't know. I'm not going to worry about it. No, I am not. 
Sunday. What did we miss? The notice. A thousand for the sashimi. All right, that's fine. Um, how much money could I technically get if I were to sell some stuff? Has this only been one episode? I feel like this has been a particularly long day. Has this been two episodes? Because it's been the 21st. Whatever. I'll do another day. Who cares how long it ends up? I don't care. No, I do not. Um, That's 12. That's 45. 18. 15. 38. Okay, we can get some money. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sell anything right now. No, I'm not. That'll be fine. Um, it's 10 o'clock. I kind of do just want to go straight to bed. Because there's not really much else to do. Yeah, give me that level up. Give me the level up. Yeah. I'm just going to go to bed because then we'll get the hardwood. It'll be fine. We waste a few hours, but I'm not going to worry about that. Nah, L. Oh, I love you. 258. Oh, man. 10,000. 10,000. Crop fairy? You're on the very bottom. Are you going to go to the very far corner of the sprinkler and give me, like, four cauliflower? You f Feel free to stop whenever you want. I mean, like, I love when forest spirits visit, but something tells me you're only going to give me, like, maybe five cauliflowers. And I'm not even sure I'm going to pick them yet. Because, like, okay, yeah, that's fine. Give me botanist. Foraged items are always the highest quality. Yes, finally. My forage is insane. I love it so much. Oh, Haley, I love you, and I love my life. I'm going to socialize in town for a bit today. Feel free. You are more than welcome. You are not trapped in the house. <laughs> it's a mess anyway. Have one of a sunflower. <laughs> They're one of a kind, and also one in a million. They're my beautiful, my favorite. Yeah, I love you so much. You're the best. You're the best. The best. Oh, wow. There's a tree. Huh. Well, it'll stay. It can stay for now. Uh, hello. Sorry, I'm not good at writing letters. I made you a metal bar. Uh, well, I made one bar too many, and I thought I'd give it to you. I thought you might need it. See, like I said, he's literally only good at just pounding metal. It's all he's good for. But I appreciate the thought of his iron bar I'm pretty sure in the past he's asked for an iron bar so I'm fairly certain we're at a net neutral at that anyway let's go forage and by forage I mean take these apricots these are my apricots don't eat the apricots stop trying to eat the apricots it's not breakfast you can't have breakfast apricots no matter how good it might be oh look at that iridium truffles oh it's so good so wonderful. Uh, don't take the cheese. Put the cheese back. What's wrong with you? Don't do that. Put the truffles away. Get the milk and the wool. And we're good. Milk and truffles. Flawless. Flawless, flawless, flawless. Oh, another one. Truffles for everyone. Everyone gets the truffles. When is our other dinosaur going to hatch? Hopefully it happens soon. Give me the mayo. Mayonnaise. Uh, put that away. Uh, we'll get the wool as well. And this stuff. More eggs. More eggs. More eggs. The humble farmer goes and starts his day by collecting his lovely animals' lovely delicious eggs. He's very proud of his haul. Okay, so it's a bit more than six, but it's still not exactly a lot. But that's fine. Sunday. Or today's a Monday. More stuff has grown. Um, right. Let's get some ancient fruit and hopefully get some gold ones. Any of them want to be gold? No. Ten ancient fruit and not a single gold one. Alright, that's fine by me. It's not really fine by me, but what am I going to do? Oh, and look at these. All of the hardwood trees. They come at the wrong time. Well, I suppose we're going to need a lot of hardwood, so just give it to me. I'll take every bit of it. Oh, I need to read the book. I do need to read the book. Right. I do need to read the book, and I will. I really don't know if this is going to end up being a three-day episode, but if it is, you guys are going to be lucky because I can't tell time. Oh my god, iridium fruit, iridium fruit. Wait, hold on. How much 
643. 643, and with all of this stuff, we get up to... Uh, 769. Honestly, that might shoot up to 10,000 quicker than I might expect. Because if I get mastery points from any source, instead of, like, just foraging, or just farming, or just mining, or just combat, well, then that'll be... I, I feel like that'll shoot up relatively quickly. I feel like that'll be really good. Really, really good. Is this a spot? Give me that. Bone fragments. All right, that's... You guys are really loud today. They're excited about something. No idea what, but they're they're ready. Uh, right. So much iridium stuff. I love it. Finally. Finally, we get iridium quality stuff. Um... I guess uh, we could uh, do that, sell those. Um, crystal fruit? We don't need them for right now. Uh, let's get rid of... Uh, sell, sell, dry. We'll keep spice berry. Well, no, nah, it'll be fine. Uh, let's put these stuff away. Now we can start really drying out a bunch of stuff. So you can be dried, you can be dried. Uh, you can get dried. Dry, dry, dry. Flawless. Flawless, flawless, flawless. And that'll be good. That will be quite good. Very good. Very, very good. The row. We do have quite a lot of rainbow trout row. And then we can sell those. Sell that one. And sell those. And that can be dried. Right. We'll just sell all this nonsense. Because we don't need it anymore. And then the plums. We can sell. Hold on. Uh, put them in this hot bar. Take those. Sell those. Take three of those. Dry those. Everything else is fine. Uh, sell those. Dry those. Cool. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. And we can sell the rest and make a little bit of money off of some forage. Plum, 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 mushrooms. And then sell, 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 sell. Great. That's good. Little bit of money. And then that's fine. All right. So we have our hardwood. So that's pretty good. Pretty good if I do say so myself. So that can go in there and that can go there. And then we can put the wool in there and deal with that. Flawless. Flawless. And then we can dry those berries later. Let's go fix up the boat. That way, in the next episode, we'll actually be able to get to Ginger Island if we wanted to. Not sure if we We probably do. We're probably at the point... Oh, Monday. Yeah, I think at the tail end of spring. There's not a lot to do in the tail end of spring. We'll be really busy at the beginning of summer. Because hopefully... Yeah, here's what I'll do. Throughout the tail end of spring, we'll go prepare of as much of Ginger Island as I can get my hands on. Hopefully, we can get the farm up and ready. That way, I can start... Oh, it's a Monday. I definitely want to get that as well. What is this thing? Uh, fragments of the past. You know what? Sure, fine. We still need to do that, so we might as well. Throughout the rest of spring, we will take care of as much preparation on Ginger Island as we can. Because once we get all of the stuff at or once it hits summer we'll have to i'll sell all of the stuff that we have at the end of spring so we can buy starfruit seeds so we can have as many of those as possible going forward in summer hopefully we'll have the farm ready at ginger island donate 100 200 hardwood for hull repairs yes okay reiterate to myself one more time much more concisely by the end of spring sell all the stuff that we get minus the rhubarb and the cauliflower sell all of the artisan goods use that money to buy star fruit for summer. Over the course of the last few days of spring, go to Ginger Island, prepare the farm, and that will be fine. Repair repair will be boated overnight. Okay, okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. The plan is that. Ooh, a stick. I want a stick. I want a stick bobber. That's curious. Very curious. And at some point at the tail end of spring, we do also need to go to find a legend. Um, I probably want to go for the legend tomorrow. Or in the next episode, I should say. 
Do I want to? Ooh, do I want to? Do I want to? Seven days for that and seven days for a hundred bone. I don't know if we'll get the bones. If we manage to get the bones, that's fine. But if not, not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. I won't fuss about it either way. Um, nothing on the 22nd or on the 23rd. This might have been a three-day episode. Well, if it is, you guys have gotten lucky, and you've got a spontaneous three-day episode. Why? I don't know. But that's what happens when the idiot in charge can't tell time. He's just like, what, what, what do you mean we get a three-day episode? It, it's because I can't read a clock. Oh, wow, three bone fragments. <laughs> Lovely. Bone fragment. Ooh, a doll. Wow, ancient doll. Wow, that's cool. <laughs> that's, that's really cool that we got an ancient doll. I, you never see random ancient dolls like that. Very cool, though. Very, very cool. Is there anything in here? The trees. They're not done quite yet. That's fine. That is fine. Let's get the mayo while we're here. Just so it's done. And then store that stuff away. Cool. And then we have duck feathers for... Leo, eventually we'll get to the point where we can give him duck feather. Excuse me. Thank you. Uh, do we have any more? Oh, there's a truffle over there. All of the processes are done. Well, minus the two wool that we got on late. Well, that's fine. Uh, give me this and this. Flawless. And then we can put, uh, not that. Uh, this and this and then that and that. Flawless. So now we have no more terrible bad stuff truffles. Give me this. I should definitely move the barn. I need to redecorate the farm. We'll redecorate the farm eventually. Soon. Probably. If I had to guess, I'd say it would get done eventually. Eventually. Anyway, put this away. Everything else can be put away. Honestly, I should start moving... I should really start to move the fish stuff inside. Because it's getting annoying having it just be a random chest out in, by the greenhouse. Don't make anything. Uh, that can go in there. Uh, truffles can go in here, I guess. And so can the honey. Right, okay. So, what can we dry out? What more forage can we dry out? Um, let's get everything ready. So, this, those are going to be dried out. Uh, we can dry out more crystal fruit. Because we have winter seeds. I could technically plant more of those. We don't need the crystal fruit for much else. So, I'll sell the rest of them. Because I don't think... Uh, we'll keep we'll keep some crystal fruit for right now. For right now, we'll keep them. Uh, we'll dry out uh, ten of these. Dry, dry. We'll keep... Uh, until we get... Iridium quality stuff. We'll keep the normal quality stuff. Uh, chanterelles we can sell. Those can dry. Daffodils. We can't really do much with those. I could have sworn the daffodils would have like zero. Because like, hmm. In terms of like health and energy or something. Because now it's just blank. That's weird. Uh, the hazelnuts we'll keep regardless for recipes for roasted hazelnuts. The holly, I don't think we can do anything with. Because that's a fruit. All of this is fruit and forage. Or like mushrooms. The leeks I won't worry about. We'll grind up the morels. Although, we'll keep the silver ones because I don't know when we'll get other ones. Everything else is fine. Spring onions we're keeping just because. And everything else is fine. Cool. So we'll sell these chanterelles. And everything else is in a position to be dried up and processed. So that's fine. That is a good plan. Yes, it is. Believe it or not, it is a good plan. All of this stuff can be dried, because now that we have Iridium Forage, we're all good. We're all good. Do I want to grind these ones up? I think I still want to grind up these ones. Because they're not gold, I don't need them, and I do need to fill up the greenhouse. And eventually, I do also want to... 
do a section on Ginger Island. Because I want, I want the green... I don't want the... It was a, probably a bit of a mistake to have the greenhouse be filled with the ancient seeds. But until we can get, like, an absolute metric boatload of ancient seeds, I'm fine with them being in there. Uh, 22. Can I make hyperspeed grow? I can make five. Oh, oak resin. Um... Do I have any more of that somewhere? It would be it would be in this chest, wouldn't it? It would be in there, but I don't have any. That's fine. Yeah, I won't worry about that. No, I won't. Okay, so we're fine on that front. Uh, for right now, well, if there's any more ancient seeds or space in the greenhouse, we'll plop them in there. Uh, we'll we'll see how much extra space that we have for random things. Oh, we'll plant the rest of them once the rhubarb and the cauliflower is done. Because that should be enough space. Probably. We'll be fine. We will be fine. Um, right. Now that we have this stuff. The oysters and this stuff. That, give me those... Put the oyster and the mussels away. Because we don't need the oysters, do we? I don't think so. We'll probably get a lot of oysters. Give me the periwinkle as well. I'll keep one stack of oysters just in case we need them. But the mussels we'll get a million of relatively soon. Um, right. We should probably also smelt or smoke more fish. Let's smoke up. Uh, let's just just go by row by row anything that's not iridium we're getting rid of because we don't need the anchovy. I don't think so. At this point, or do I want to save these fish? I don't know if I want to save these fish. I don't think I want to save those fish. Any other fish we have in the inventory will just turn into sashimi. I, I don't care for them. No, I don't. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. Hi, my love. I love you so much. I get choked up just thinking about you. Uh, muscle, muscle, muscle. Two, three, five, six. Right. Shishimi is good. We need to make Haley a good dinner. What can we make? What can we make for her? Apple and sugar. Um, Dish of the she. Sardines. Maybe I don't want to do those. Because I need to do that for perfection, don't I? We'll focus on that later. Although, maybe I should make a note. Maybe I should figure out what we need. I don't have any garlic for that. Mussels and periwinkles and tomatoes and crayfish. Fish stew? Uh, what what would be a good dinner to make? Come on, I have this problem in real life. I don't want to think about this here. Uh, crispy bass? I don't have any wheat flour. I'll make dinner later. Haley, I love you so much, but I am terrible in the kitchen. Like, in real life, it takes it takes a minor miracle for me to make edible food. It was nice seeing everyone in town. Did you have a good day? I did, believe it or not. I did indeed. Um, right, I need to get... Oh, man, having these tiny chests. It just feels so tiny. It's so tiny having tiny chests. I need to move these things as well. Because though that's a big one. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Let me make... Let me make just two... Yeah, for the rest of the day. How much stone do I have? I need to spend 500 stone on big chest. I need to spend 500 stone on big chest. But that's fine. Uh, big chest, big chest. You're blue. And you're also a slightly lighter shade of blue. Let's get all of the fish in here. Because we're finally moving stuff in there. So anything that's fish related is going in those boxes. Do, 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 do. Anything that's like actual fish is going in the deep blue one. And anything fish related is going in the light blue one. So you're a fish. You're a fish. You're not an actual fish. The crayfish just barely pass. Mussels don't count because they're not fish. They're mollusks at best. Snails. Snails barely pass. Everything else is good. Uh, right. And then everything else is going in this one. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. Haley, my love, I love you so much, but I'm terrible at cooking. I will grow whatever you want me to make. 
anything at all, I will gladly grow it. Oh, and the book. Jack B. Nimble combat experience. All right, hold on. That is that is an experiment to make. So we have, uh, where is it? We have 804. This might be a waste of a book, but I'll only ever have to do this once. We read the book, 804 up to 904, 100 experience per book. Okay, not sure if it's worth it, but from here on out, if we read the books, that'll be good for experience. Good to know. Uh, any specific bait also goes in here and shells as well. That's fine. Uh, we'll move any bait that we have in here because we have this bait. We also have broken glasses. Um, anything else? I don't think we have... Oh, green algae. We'll move that. Everything else seems to be fine. Squid ink? No. Everything else is good. Okay. And then we can start bringing stuff from inside or outside inside. So all that stuff is good. Let's go get some more stuff. This is finally happening, people. And then we have a bunch of decorations, which we'll put... Actually, we'll put random decorations in one of these nonsense chests. So this can be like a little storage area for right now. And we'll have one of those other chests be for weapons and stuff. So that's decoration. All of this stuff is technically useful. Uh, everything else, that can go there. Useful things we'll put in a different chest. So what was this one? This can be the weapons, so this one can be white. This one can be decoration, so this one can be dark gray. And then we'll have other things for elsewhere. Give me the big chest. Give me the weapons. We'll move those over, and then we can move the other chest. We'll have some other stuff. It'll be fine. We'll be making progress. So this, 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 this. Master slingshot. I gotta remember to bring a slingshot. Once we go to Ginger Island, make sure to bring a slingshot. That way I can remember to actually get the stupid thing that's around there. This. Oh, and that's the artifacts. I have a big chest. I'll have this big chest be purple for artifacts. That one can be purple for artifacts. And then... Where's the other one? This one can go there for random stuff. So this goes away. This, all of that stuff goes away. Flawless. And then this one can be important stuff, I guess. Actually, give me that bucket back. We don't need that bucket in there. That's not, that bucket is useless to me. I don't need the bucket anymore. I'm finally getting rid of the bucket. How many morels do I have? I'm keeping seven. All right, if by some reason, actually, you know what? I'll keep the morels because I don't know what recipes I need those for, so the morels can stay. Everything else is fine, though. Uh, this can be a special one, so that could be red for all my loot. And then this one has artifacts. So give me artifacts. And then we can move that chest, and that'll be fine. All around good. This, 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 all of this row. That, that, and then this stuff. Flawless. Flawless. Bravissimo. Mucho bueno. All of the buenos. All of the delectable buenos. And then this one can go in the corner for an as of yet unnamed, undetermined purpose. Because we never know what purpose a thing... Oh, no, I don't want the sashimi to go in the place where I keep all my rocks. Because sashimi and rocks don't go together. Not in this reality, they don't. Uh, anyway, hi, my love. I'm glad you're home. Oh, I'm so glad you're home. I get kind of scared alone at night. Well, you have a cat, an entire abode filled with fish, even though I kind of want you to stay away from the quantum replicating quarantined clams, and then this one fish tank with Lewis's shorts. Again, I really enjoy the fact that we have Lewis's shorts quarantined in their own jungle fish tank. Believe it or not, it used to be a normal fish tank, but apparently it had some kind of bacteria on it, and then plants and an entire ecosystem grew around it. I don't know what Lewis was doing to those shorts in that basement, but man, was it a... It was something. 
it was something, all right. Anyway, what are we doing for the rest of the day? It's 8 o'clock. I don't know what we're doing for the rest of the night. I have no idea. Uh, fill up the watering can. Anyway, it was... Maybe I get rid of these trees. Maybe I get rid of these trees and put the barn there? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know at all. Nothing I know. Um, Money. Money, 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 money. The next episode, we're probably going to go to Ginger Island. So that's good. So maybe make some preparations for Ginger Island. All right, hold on. Let's think. Let's think about what we need to do for Ginger Island. The first trip to Ginger Island, we go to the Eastern Forest, do the stuff with Leo, get a few things there. Then we go up north, get those things. So let's just let's just future proof the plan at Ginger Island. Let's just let's just do a little bit of future proofing. Let's get the master slingshot. Let's get a rock or two. Get a few rocks. Bring them in the slingshot. And then that'll be fine. Just get a few. Get them in there. So we'll be able to have those. So there's the one, there's all of the ones stretching up to the path to the volcano in the trees as well. There's a few things there. Um, we'll have to do a memory puzzle. Oh god, the memory puzzle. If I use the power of my recording, I will be able to do it. But it'll be a bit cheaty. But I don't mind. I don't care if it's a bit cheaty. I really don't care if it's a bit cheaty. We'll have to see how easy it is. Because sometimes it takes me literal days. Or other times I get it in the first try. And it's child's play. There's no in between. And then we'll need a pickaxe to dig up some stuff. We should have enough golden walnuts in the first trip. Because I don't think we need anything specific. I don't think we'll need anything specific. I think we'll have everything that we need to take care of. Right. Yeah, tomorrow... Is the first time we go to Ginger Island. That'll be fine. Uh, let's get some coffee while we're at it. Um, coffee beans. Right. Uh, let's just use the gold coffee beans for the foreseeable. And then that'll be fine. Coffee, 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 coffee. Uh, yeah, let's just grind up a bunch of coffee until we have to go to bed. And then we can... Do we have the, the recipe for triple shot? I don't think we have the recipe for triple shot. I might go get that at Gus's tomorrow, maybe. How long does coffee take? Do I have... Uh, I do have one spicy eel. You know what? I'll bring the spicy eel and then we'll go to Ginger Island and it'll be fine. We'll have to see what happens. We'll have to see because I don't know if we're... Sorry, excuse me. Uh, uh, we're probably not going to go to the top of the volcano. We're almost certainly not going to go to the top of the volcano. Yeah, almost certainly not. Almost certainly not. Because even if we did make it to floor 10, it probably wouldn't be worth it because we wouldn't have enough cinder shards to get an enchantment. Probably not. No, it wouldn't be worth it. It's 10,000 for gold upgrades. Maybe I want to get... No, I need the watering can. I'm not getting rid of the watering can. I'm keeping the watering can on me until I get to floor 10. But, oh, I need to bring the fishing rod. I do need, oh, I should have been uh, not standing around doing nonsense. I should have been bringing the fish in. Didn't even, I, I got rid of all of the stuff in the kitchen. I'm like, oh, the thing is done for the day. It's not done for the day. There's still stuff outside, you fool. Because I'm like, what else do I need to bring? I need to bring my fishing rod so I can get some stuff. Idiot, idiot that I am. I am a fool. Uh, this, 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 this. Anything that's not a fish is coming with me on this trip. Uh, you're not a fish, you're not a fish, uh, you're not fish, this, 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 this. Full inventory. I'm a fool. I'm an actual bona fide fool who doesn't keep track of anything. And now the coffee's done. Of course you'd be done after I leave and put the stuff away. This all goes away, put it all away, you fool. Okay, so that all goes away, that's some stuff. I don't think we'll be able to get all of the fish... But we'll be able to get a majority. Although we might. Depends on how quick we can make these trips. Uh, this, 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 and that. And then a few more fish. 
Give me fish. Give me liberty or give me bass. Total bass death. Bath death. Bath des. That's an intentional tongue twister if ever I've seen one. Uh, fish. Fish go in there. And then fish paraphernalia and coral go in there. Flawless. We'll have we'll we'll have enough time for one more trip to get fish. Give me the last of the fish that I can carry. Oh, we'll be able inventory full. You put the fish down? Oh, I can't I can't just leave that there. I can't just leave that fish there. I need to I can get I can get one more trip. I can get one more trip before I pass out. Haley, this is something that'll happen all the time. All the time, I promise you. It'll get better, but for right now... Wait, I put him in the wrong stupid chest. I'm an idiot. God, Haley, you'll quickly realize... You've already realized. I showed up to my own wedding in a mummy mask. You know how much of an idiot I am. And yet you love me for some unknown reason anyway. And I love you so much for putting up with my nonsense. You have no earthly idea. Give me all this fish. Wow, that was... A quick thing. Anyway, give me that. Quick, go back. Go back to the place. It's 1.30. No, I'll go to bed and take care of it in the next episode. All right, that's that. That was a wonderful episode where we discovered things, I think. Everything's blurring together. But in the next episode, we're going to Ginger Island. And that's going to be a fun time. Very fun time. Now I get to snuggle with my cat and my wife. My very stylish cat. Beat, 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 beat. beat. Beat that boat with your hammers. Teach it a lesson. How many times do I have to teach you this lesson, old man? I have made... Un Honestly, the foraging pays for the ticket for Ginger Island tomorrow. So that's going to be good. That is going to be good. I myself am going to go straight into the next episode because I am on a Stardew kick. And I want to keep playing. So that is what's going to happen. I'm going to put all the stuff away. We're going to smelt up and dry some berries. And it'll be a fun time. We're going to go straight to Ginger Island. And that's going to be an incredible accomplishment. So whether you watch this episode for 30 seconds or the entire thing. Thank you so much for tuning in to yet another episode of Stardew Valley. Being played by me, Din of Thionite Gaming. Thank you all so much for tuning in for 30 seconds. You wonderful people, thank you so much for watching for 30 seconds or the entire thing. We need to get this outro right at least once in a recording session. So with that, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Later.